I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric integrals. In problem number 27, we'd like to evaluate the integral of cotangent x to the fourth dx. All right, as in most problems like this where we're dealing with tangents, cotangents, secants that are inside of um, an integral sign, the first thing we kind of want to ask is, well, do I know the antiderivative? And quickly we see, no, I don't know the antiderivative for cotangent x to the fourth. So I need to use some identities to help me out here. And one identity from trigonometry that I know is that cotangent squared of x plus 1 is cosecant squared of x. Okay, Cotangent squared of x plus 1 is cosecant squared of x. So what I could do is I could see I really have cotangent of x squared quantity squared here. So I could rewrite this guy as the integral of so if I had cotangent squared of x, I could write that as cosecant squared of x minus 1 using the identity up here. But this is just cotangent of x quantity squared. I want it to the fourth, so I had better square it. Okay, so I can rewrite cotangent of x to the fourth as cosecant of x squared minus one. In other words, this is cotangent of x squared, and then square that to get it to the fourth. So everything's fine here. I've just used an identity, and we are on our way. Now what I want to do is let's square this out and see what that actually gives me. If I square that, I get the following. This is equal to the integral of, if I square cosecant squared of x, then I get cosecant to the fourth of x. Then I get two times the first times the second, which is minus two cosecant squared of x. And then I square the negative one and I get plus one, all of that dx. All right. So now let's look at things and see where are we at here. I've got a cosecant to the fourth of x. I don't really know the antiderivative of that thing. I've got a negative two cosecant squared of x. I do know the antiderivative of that because I know that the antiderivative of negative cosecant squared of x is cotangent of x. And then I know the antiderivative obviously of one is x. So really the problem here is I do know this, I do know this, but I don't know this. So let's work a little bit harder with this guy and see if we can make it better. These two I know, so I'm just going to leave them alone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first of all, let's split this into two integrals. I'm going to write this as the integral of cosecant to the fourth of x dx plus integral of minus two cosecant squared of x plus one, all of that dx. And the reason that I'm splitting this up into two integrals is because I want to split it into the integral that really I know how to do it right now. And then here's the integral that needs some work. So on the integral that needs some work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I've got four cosecant of x's there multiplied by each other. And I'm going to take two of those and use this identity to change it back into cotangents. So let's do it. I'll rewrite up here. So look at this first integral. I'm going to change nothing. Two of the cosecants. I'm just going to leave alone. And then two of the cosecants I'm going to write this way. In uh, this form it's going to be um, their cotangent squared of x plus 1 dx. 
And then I need all this other stuff also. Now, I'm ready to take the antiderivative of this one, so maybe I'll just do it right now and get it out of the way. So the antiderivative of negative two cosecant squared of x is just two cotangent x. So it's plus two cotangent x. And then the antiderivative of one is x. And then I guess we get our constant. So we still need to take this antiderivative to be done. Uh, let's multiply this out. If I do, I get this as integral of cosecant squared of x times cotangent squared of x plus cosecant squared of x dx plus this other stuff. I'll write it in real quick. Two cotangents of x plus x plus c. This guy I know the antiderivative of. This guy I do not. So uh, let's look at how are we going to do this guy. So I'll split it up again. This is integral of cosecant squared of x cotangent squared of x dx plus integral of cosecant squared of x dx plus all the other stuff. So plus two cotangent x plus x plus c. I'm writing that kind of small over there because we already know what that is. Okay, this antiderivative I know, this one's harder, but it's doable. And the reason that it's doable is because I know the derivative of cotangent of x is negative cosecant squared of x. So I can use a u substitution on this guy. So what I wanna do is let's let u be cotangent of x. If I do, then du is negative cosecant squared of x dx. So I can replace, uh, if I had a negative inside, which I'll put a negative in here, which means I need a negative outside, I can rewrite this integral as negative integral of u squared du. This guy I know the antiderivative of, it's negative cotangent of x. And then I still have a plus two cotangent x, plus x, plus c. All right, we're close. Let's take an antiderivative. Antiderivative of u squared is I've got a negative, um, one-third u cubed. Now, I may skip a step here. It's going to be u cubed, but I know that u is cotangent of x. So it's negative one-third cotangent of x, but now I know it's cubed. So in other words, the antiderivative of u squared is one-third u cubed, where u is cotangent of x. Um, then I've got a minus cotangent x plus two cotangent x. Two of them minus one of them is plus one cotangent x plus an x plus c. And here is my antiderivative.